Um, ladies and gentlemen, what the problem is we have here is I've given you two functions. f of x, x squared minus 5x plus 1, and g of x equals x squared plus 1, or plus 7, all right? Now, we previously learned how to ask, track, multiply, divide, right? And what I usually told you was something like this. f plus g of x, right? And what we said, oh, that's pretty basic. That just means f of x plus g of x, right? So all you did was you took whatever your f of x was and you added it to your g of x, right? Well, guess what? That's exactly what they're asking us to do here. But instead of evaluating it for x, they're saying, I want you to evaluate this for negative 2. Okay? So there's a couple ways we could do this. The first way, how about let's just add them the way we know how to add them. All right? So I'll get to the question here in a second. F, uh, F plus G of negative 2. So we'll get to this question in just a second. So what if I just said add them evaluating for x? So if you add them evaluating for x, f of x equals x squared minus 5x plus 1. And then plus g of x equals x squared plus 7. All right? Yes? Yep. This is f of x plus g of x. Yeah. Now we can combine like terms x squared plus x squared, one apple plus one apple is two, two apples, so it's going to be two x squared. Negative five x, you can't combine that with anything because that's the only term that has a variable factor of x. And then one plus seven is eight. So, where did you, where did I lose you? Okay, x squared plus x. Did you go through that problem again? So, you don't remember it, it wouldn't be x. Oh, wait, no, because you're not multiplying it, so it wouldn't be x squared. Okay, never mind, I got it. Eight. Remember, guys, when you're adding var variables with exponents, when you add them, x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. We already talked about this. x squared times x squared, you add the exponents, which gives you x to the fourth, right? So that's why I got the 2x squared. Okay, question? I didn't understand. You, lost. you know what f of x equals, right? f of x equals this. g of x equals that. So all I did was I, re I took this function and wrote it there. This function wrote it there. And it says to add them. So you add them. Okay? Well, that's what I tried to do with the plus sign. All right. Now, however, ladies and gentlemen, they're not asking us to evaluate for x. The question actually wasn't this. This is adding f plus g of x. They're not asking us to do that. They're asking you f plus g of negative 2. So once we add them up, what we need to now do is where do you think we're going to put the negative 2 in for? X. The x. So it's 2 times negative 2 squared minus 5 times negative 2 plus 8. So this is what you could do this to prepare going for that one. All right. Therefore, negative 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. My, uh, negative 2 times negative 10 is a positive 10 plus 8. So therefore, my final answer. It wouldn't be negative 8. Where, no, well, negative 2 times negative 2 squared is positive 4. Oh, it would be negative four 2 times, times eight. negative 2 squared. So your final answer is going to be 26. Now, do you guys want to maybe another way, an easier way maybe to look at it? Okay, since you're evaluating f of negative 2, you guys can evaluate f of negative 2. What this really means is f of negative 2 plus f of... Oh, you're just throwing all the... Uh, where did the g go? Of g of negative 2. Oh, wait, so you can throw one. So what you can do is you can evaluate both of them and then just add them up together. Yes? You have to solve it in the normal way first and then plug it into the... No, that's what I'm saying. You could also do it this way. Which this way says, evaluate both of them and add them up. So let's do that. What's f of negative 2? Well, where do you put the negative 2 in? For this, right? So you do negative 2 squared minus 5 times negative 2 plus 1. Then we say plus g of negative 2 is negative 2 squared plus 7. So let's see if that gives us the same answer. So negative 2 squared is... 4, negative 5 times negative 2 is 10, plus 1, plus 4, plus 7. 
So does that add up to 26? Yes. Yes, it does. So there's really two different ways you guys can do this. Yeah. I showed it this way first because that's what we've learned how to do. You take one function, add it to another function. You add it up. But it doesn't say add the two functions when evaluated for x. It says add the two functions, which we do here, and evaluate it for negative 2. So then once you add them, you plug in negative 2. If you just want to evaluate both of them first and then add them up, you can do that as well. Okay? So, who cool. cool. the second one you just plug in the negative 2 for the x? Solve it. Huh? For the, the one on the bottom, the one you just showed us, we just plug in the negative 2 for the x. Yep. Make sense? Kind of? Más and menos? Okay. Um, now, 